Oh my god, did no one look at me? Cody Ko. Yeah, that is, is, is. She said, I was literally 17. I can say that. All right, heads up before we begin, a little disclaimer. I am a big Cody Co fan. I love Cody Co and Kelsey. I think they are the it couple. I think they're obviously so well uh, suited for one another. Unlike Cody, I do not watch Tana Mojo, but today's video is about Tana and Cody. Tana was recorded at a recent show saying that she slept with Cody when she was 17 and he was 25. And I mean, 17 and 25, that's a monster age gap. Yeah. That's really fucking bad. That's, eight, that's an eight years, eight year age gap at that age. That's mm. like a lifetime. Yeah, and considering how young she looks, like I yeah, mean, that just video? seeing her in that video, she could be sixteen. She's a she looks young like a baby. girl. I barely recognize her. Yeah, and he looks like a grown. He adult. looks like he does now. Yeah, yeah, so it's fucking weird, dude. I will say that Tana and those people in that bubble are really, really toxic, and they tend to be. And if Cody's hanging out with them, then, you know, toxic likes toxic for whatever that means. Also, and I hate to say it this way, YouTuber groups tend to just be toxic in general. YouTuber friends, collab groups, there's always a level of toxicity involved. I mean, Ethan and Trisha are like a good example of that. I think they didn't want to give up the house more than they didn't care about giving us up. <laughs> All this. <laughs> I turned out fine. You saying turned out fine? I was like, oh shit. Oh my god, look who's talking. Hey, <laughs> I, I would never you say I turned out fine. The most dysfunctional family. I literally would never say I turned out fine, even though I did. I turned out okay. I'm no, functional. just because you make money doesn't. But, mean but you're, you're okay. way crazier than That's me. That's so not true. No, but you're way crazier than me. Regardless of good intentions, there's always a toxic friend in the group. And at the end of the day, like your audience is probably going to bat for you. Now, separate from, you know, other people's opinions, my personal opinion is that 25 and 17 is icky. I also think 18 and 25 is icky. I also think 19 and 25 is icky. I also think 20 and 25 is icky. I also think 21 and 25 starts to be somewhat normal. Icky isn't enough. So how do we judge this, right? I don't believe in objective morality myself. I think we're animals evolved on a planet. I think we decide through constructs to judge people and so the question is, is like where's the judgment coming from ian just uh, found a video of cody dying. oh yeah throw that up yes let me see that little twink hot ass <laughs> dip body <laughs> yeah i mean you're you're serious oh dude and i mean 17 and 25 that's a monster age gap yeah. that's really fucking bad realistically the world doesn't revolve around us in our culture and when i was growing up as a millennial this was pretty common hey people Hi, Mr. Edwards. Can I help you? Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. Yeah? I see you don't have a visitor's badge. That's why I asked. I'm, uh, actually, with her, actually. My yeah. boyfriend. Mm-hmm. I heard that. I wish I didn't hear that, but I just heard that. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just wondering why, uh... You don't date a nice guy your own age. She's very mature for her age. So it's not that abnormal, especially now that I'm living in a European country where the age of consent is incredibly low. It's very interesting learning about those cultural differences and how humans have still not moved past sort of having those kinds of situations occur. I'm pretty anti-age gap relationships with the younger person is like in their youth youth. You know, when they're very young, I just feel like give them a chance to be with somebody closer to their age. But also that takes a level of awareness that I do think that I have that I don't think most people have. Now, as a person, Person who knows lots of lots of people. I know so many people, it's offensive. And how many men I know who are more than willing in their 20s to hit on people in high school. If you want to help people, you have to have a very long conversation with why people end up choosing people so wildly young. And I need people to understand that some of it could be predatory for sure. And a lot of it is immaturity and a lack of education. And I know that it's hard to believe because we're thinking everything is predatory, but without the intentionality of the predatory, they're probably just victims of also educational circumstance. If you watch any movies growing up as a millennial, so many people were in, you know, college or in their 20s dating high schoolers. I think we need to have some pretty intense conversations about why people are being brought up to be inadequate to date people their own age. Because that's really what this is. It's an inadequacy. There really is no reason people shouldn't be dating within a healthy age range. But we're not seeing that happen. We're seeing lots of age gap relationships. I mean, look at the girl we reviewed yesterday, Julia, and she has a like a 30 something year age gap. Gap. So again, when we're having this conversation, if you actually want to help society, and I don't think anyone really does personally, I think you all pretend you want to help society, then you have to really contend with the reality that people are not being held to a standard because there's no understanding of why we're even holding each other to that standard. It is subjective if you think we're evolved animals. So the question is, why is it wrong for these age gap relationships 
to end up happening, probably because it's unnecessary. And the unnecessariness leads to a potentiality for harm that might not be worth the investment. I understand what it was like being young and having a relationship with people much older than me and kind of wanting to engage with those people. And now in hindsight, understanding that like, oh, that was super unhealthy and toxic. The dilemma is that I don't think Cody is being predatory necessarily, but I do, and I don't know the story fully, but I wanna say this ahead of time from my own perspective. I want to say that if it involves Tana and anyone associated with Tana, it's toxic, no matter if it's Cody Ko or a nun or a priest, because Tana is a walking toxic bomb and she always has been and she always will be until she changes. She's doing it even now, I see her and I see her habits and I'm gonna call it out what it is, which is like toxic loves toxic. And if Cody's hanging out with Tana, then Cody definitely had toxicity in him him and might even still have it in him. Who knows? He's a dad now. He's married. Him and Kelsey seem happy. But I think that that's the part of it that people aren't willing to say out loud. Toxic people do toxic things. So how do we stop people from being toxic? That's really difficult. And as somebody who is currently, you know, getting through determined, if you're interested in the science perspective from like Robert uh, Sapolsky, you know, he would say something like, this makes a lot of sense for where they came from, their genetics, what happened generations ago, leading up into this moment. Now, I think we have free will because we have an ability to think, which allows us to engage in choice. But that choice is dictated by your knowledge of the choice in the first place. And I don't think most people know they're making a choice. And if you're interested in the science perspective of it, I recommend that book or at least looking at some of the research that's coming out. There is a layer into this in which people don't even know why they're making the choices they're making, including you don't even know why you're upset about it. So I'm all about stopping 17 year olds from having sex with adults. I'm all about 18 year olds not having sex with, but I'm also aware that we live in a society. So let's have a conversation around that. Jasmine, you said shame works for a lot of people. I really do not like this argument that shame works because works is specific. We don't want to just change people's behavior temporarily. We want them to have a realization and a deep change within them to make better decisions. But those better decisions are still subjective, whether you like it or not. There's not an objectivity to life. Who's the smallest dick you've ever had sex with? Oh my God, do no one look at me, Cody Co. That's a lot. You should like, she didn't have to answer that. She didn't have to answer that. And it's kind of, you know, that it's in my world, super rude. You know what I mean? Like you don't talk about people's genital size to the public, let alone your girlfriends, let alone, you know, like have some dignity. But of course, to be fair, if she feels like she was wounded by Cody, if she feels like she he took advantage of her, he might she might think this is within like her right. Now, of course, I'm a philosophy channel. I'm an introspection channel. This is about like self-improvement. I think the most healed version of you doesn't attack even people that have attacked you. So I don't like the way Tana, and I've never enjoyed the way Tana talks about people. I think it's incredibly dehumanizing. I also think Tana is a victim. I think she's an imperfect victim, but I think she's probably a victim. I mean, she definitely is of her parents. My best friend's family like basically adopted me when I was like 13 and took me and like now every holiday I go see them. They're my family 100%. But like my family I was born into, they were just very crazy. All their money was very elite. Nah, I, it's so hard i i can't say a lot of things for legal reasons there's like a whole with your parents uh-huh which is nuts well so how long did you live with your parents i guess technically until i was like 15 but like by 14 i was staying with my friends for like months at a time it was just a very wow. volatile environment so growing you up know? with your parents they were do they have like some kind of like what what was it how old how much older are they my parents were like in their 50s raising me and they just in my opinion weren't very good people i was very independent like i did everything on my own for as long as I can remember it like just even my meals and my money and getting to school and doing it that's one of the main reasons I dropped out of school mm -hmm. like it was just like nothing was a functioning routine and I never learned that I was very much so independent and anytime I really needed to fall on a parental figure for anything it was always my best friend's family that's got to be and painful though that like your f relationship with your parents 100%, is so fraught yeah, that's, 100%. that's hard that's really and obviously being an only child through that as well and not really having someone yeah. to like and that's why i credit my best friend to like saving my life or like being mm. my brother he still lives with me to this day like he's literally my mm. brother and it's amazing i credit him to really helping me with that and i've tried to work out there's so much trauma and so many things that i can't wait to talk about one day um Jeanette McCurdy wrote that book that was like, I'm glad my mom died. Yeah, is and it she, like that? It, 100%. I, I don't think that's up for debate. When I look at the situation, I see a level of immaturity that hasn't 
it hasn't gone away. Now, Tana's very young. I f correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Tana is like 23. Tana's still a baby, right? She's just a kid. She's 25. So Tana's still a kid, okay? So she's obviously a victim. She, If you know anything about her parents, the, they tried to sue her. It was a whole mess. It was just like, it was crazy from my little understanding of it. And the question is, is she going to get the help she needs to be better? But I, I do think talking about Cody's dick size is sort of like a sign that she's still in recovery. But let's see. Maybe she feels justified in doing it just because he allegedly hurt her from her perspective. Yeah, that is, is, is. She said, I was literally 17. I can say that. Like I said, I'm not interested in the law deciding what's moral because like, depending on where they were, this would have been legal or not legal. I think what's more important that is that people of such vast age differences are interacting in incredibly inappropriate ways. I think that's more interesting. Like why, why does that keep happening? And why does it happen for all of eternity? And why does it continue to happen? Why do people do this? And I really do think it's trauma mixed in with immaturity, mixed in with opportunity. So then there's the big mm -hmm. accusation. She says, I can say that I was literally 17. I can say that, which to be fair, she, the yeah. girl's got a point. Mm -hmm. yep. 25 year old sleeps with a 17 year old. She can say whatever she wants about your dick. Yep. See, yep. he says that, but that's that's his values and his morals. It's not objective. Like I said, this is perfectly legal in lots of places. So did he decide that's the rule he's going to keep because this is his feeling? You know what I mean? Like, this is his thing. Like, there is no such thing as the word underage, right? Nico says underage stuff is always wrong, but that's a construct. We made it up. So why is it wrong? I know why I think it's wrong. Do you know why you think it's wrong? Because when you say underage, that means you're using the law to decide your values. Underage is a legal term. It's a construct we created to give an, an idea of what a, what a, quote, child is and what a adult is. So when I'm having this conversation for myself, the way I want to encourage my audience to think about things, because this will come up in your life. Life, when you have children, they're going to have moments of temptation. You're going to have to train your children to consider when they're engaging with people to consider the person's age and where they've come from and why do you know them, right? When you think about it, why is it wrong? I would say age gap relationships, especially when the younger person is in their youngness under 30, is always the responsibility of the much older person to consider the nuance of what that younger person could be experiencing. And if you're not taking it into consideration, I would argue you're very immature. And that immature maturity level is probably why you're engaging with somebody so young, which is a conundrum because I don't think it always means you're a predator, but I do think it means that you're willing to postpone your own maturity uh, for whatever reasons, maybe circumstance, education, maybe so many other things in order to si sort of do the thing you want to do in the moment. Yeah, we don't have any evidence for it. She might have been 17. She might have been 18. And either way, it would have been weird. Like that's the problem I'm having a little bit is like either way it would have been weird, but not necessarily predatory. But I do think it says something like I am constantly shocked at why all of these people are hanging out in these groups and socializing the way they are. And I know in some places it you know, it changes the context because of culture, but mostly there's a specific type of toxicity that tends to involve a lot of irresponsible behavior. Tana is already engaging in a bubble where that's kind of the norm. You have to understand that in toxic bubbles, toxicity occurs. What does that mean for humanity and how we view and judge them? How do we view and judge ourselves? I'm in the forgiveness bubble. I like forgiveness, but I don't like forgiving the person. I like the relationship you're having with them to be the forgiveness part. Like you yourself, instead of being haunted by it, let it go and recognize it was a time in your life. That doesn't mean you don't hold people accountable. So the question is, do we have to hold Cody accountable? And then do we have to hold uh, ta ta Tana accountable? Not accountable for being with somebody older, but accountable for all the other things she did at that age. Because 17 or not, even for a 17 year old, Tana was behind developmentally in some capacity. But also what does that mean? Don't you think we're putting a pressure on society? And I'm just asking these questions to encourage the thought process. I'm not saying, you know, exactly what I believe necessarily. I'm just like giving you guys ideas to think about it. I think I want to live in a world that encourages people to really think about things before they do it, but also live in a world that acknowledges and, meet pe and meets people where they're at. So how do we do that in this situation? It is really icky what happened. Some people are saying he's a predator and he's a like, obviously that's not true. And I'm not going to have a conversation with someone that thinks that's right. Because like, no offense, you're not educated enough. See how you're not educated enough to have the conversation. That's not pedophile. So for people calling Cody a pet, I can't have the conversation with you. You're not ready to have it. So he's not a 
Probably not a predator, but what is he? Definitely immature, definitely toxic, right? So what is he? This is difficult for me, especially since his brand is so wholesome. To be honest with you, I didn't expect this to be a thing that might've happened. I didn't expect him to engage with Tana in that way. Chachi says teenage brains are not as developed as an adult brain and that's just a fact. True, but also regardless of that, we do hold 18 year olds accountable. Hell, we try teenagers as adults in America, but I have issues with the legal system with the way that it is, you know. Chachi says, I think a lot of people can relate to being a teenager and consenting to sex with an older adult then later realizing how gross it was for the adult to be attracted to a teenage self. You know, I don't think it's gross that they're attracted to a teenager because they're not attracted to teenagers. Usually they're attracted to the way they feel they can relate to the teenager, which is also gross. Do you know what I'm saying? I think when I hear that sentence, people are insinuating they're attracted to the teenage body. I actually think they're attracted to the way that the teenager makes them feel seen which is not as gross, but it's as it's an indicator of immaturity. From my experience, when people talk to me about this, they feel seen by the partners they choose. And the irony is when the older person feels seen by a younger person, my brain is like, don't you think that's the red flag? That you're so immature that you feel like you're connecting with a 17 year old. So that's what I'm mostly curious about. I don't actually think they're attracted to teenage bodies. I think they're literally just feel like they're getting along with them, which is even sadder. You know, it's all sad. I think that they feel seen. And I think that's my always like, hello, you need to go to therapy. Why are you attracted to children in terms of immaturity or maturity levels? Or like we have so much in common with them. We get along so well. Val says, what's your opinion on Cody Co after this? Seems, since he seems to be a different stage of his life now. I mean, it's hard to say, right? I don't know Cody as a person. I definitely think it's icky. I will say though, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna say this out loud. Every time I try to defend a man, some fucking story comes out about them. So honestly, I'm giving up. <laughs> Not on men, but men who, uh, men who are men. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to phrase that, but it's not that you're male. It's not that you were born a man, but there are just certain types of boys that try to fit in with boy bubbles and those boy bubbles I'm hesitant about. I am. I think, I think there's a hesitation in me because every time I try to root for a guy, some shit comes out. So I'm trying to be open-minded to the idea that, you know, as much as I love boy bubbles, not all of them are just immature and ridiculous, but damn, even Cody Ko, bro. Damn even Cody Co. maybe allegedly it's just ah oh, what a bummer Nico says do you think an age gap where someone is 27 and 55 is weird yes I do think that's fucking weird I do think that's weird what does a 55 year old and a 27 year old have in fucking common what are you talking about how who who is it who's the stunted one because the 27 year old if they're the more stunted one, that's even worse. But there's no way a 55 year old and a 27 year old should be on the same level. Maybe as friends, because friends aren't obligated to be, to do life together. But you know, not my business, you do you. If you wanna have sex, if you wanna have fun, you do you. What's up guys, it's Tana Mojo, and I'm here uh, with Tana. Not gonna laugh at my Just jokes like this, this video. <laughs> not gonna... What? Jamie says, how old was she when she, she and Shane decided it was a good idea for her to pee on him. Oh my God. I'm, I was not in this bubble at the time. I completely pieced out of like Shane Dawson and them. They're so toxic. That's the problem. It's just like the toxicity is so clear. I don't, I didn't know about this video. I didn't even know they knew each other. Like I'm not in, like I watch Cody now, but I did not know anything about Cody when he was a Viner. I did not watch him as a Viner. Now the camera's on, you're not gonna laugh at my jokes. <laughs> Don't check out his channel. I'm literally not even gonna link it below. Like, you're gonna have to Google his name, which I'm not even gonna tell you. It's <laughs> I'm gonna get bleeped. Oh, don't bleep it. <laughs> it's <laughs> Check me out on YouTube. <laughs> Alright, so. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get through this cringe for context. But also Discord gave, made an interesting point. I'm sitting here wondering when these norms started changing in different bubbles, Discord says. When I was 17 to 21 on college campus, it was very normal for older grad students and younger undergrads to meet in overlapping classes. It makes sense to my brain that we all thought we were all students at the time, wondering if it would feel the same today. But listen, it is normal for age gap relationships to occur around the world. Like I said, I live in Croatia. I think the age of consent is 15, 16. Italy, I think is 15. It's not that it's not normal, meaning that it's not happening happening or prevalent, I'm I think I want to encourage the world to move away from it. As a person whose grandma was married and aunties were married between the ages of 12 and 16 to men much older than them, we want to encourage 
cultural shifts. We want to encourage people to move. And this is why I'm saying calling everyone a predator isn't doesn't make sense because it's not just predatory like reasons that make human beings make these decisions. I think you guys are totally neglecting the nuance of economic background, education levels, expectations, survivability. I think you forget we're animals evolved on a planet. Animals, fuck. And I'm saying to be more than just an animal at your lowest level of cognitive ability, you have to think and then you have to be introspective and then you have to rise above this base level expectation of your biology. We're always our biology. You can't escape your biology, right? So the question is, how do I stop being the lowest level of cognitive ability, the lowest level of introspection? as a biological creature, and how do I ascend that level into something greater so I can be better to the people in my community, but especially better to myself? And this is a very difficult thing, right? If you look at my levels video, my own philosophy linked in the description, it is very difficult. I think most people are twos on this level system because most people are a little bit more than that and they're trying their best, but they're given a script and they follow the script very heavily and the script tells them what's good or bad. Even for a lot of people, maybe in this chat, you might be thinking, this is gross, but who told you that? How do you know it's gross? How'd you come to that conclusion? In order to know why you think something, you have to know what you know. And we know very little, just in general. Most of us know very little. We don't know as much as we think we do, right? So again, I'm looking at Cody and thinking, how could you have been so dumb? And the answer is because he was. I look at Tana, I'm like, how could you have been so dumb? Because she probably was. That's why they did it. But also intelligence does not negate responsibility for bad action. But I do think that introspection plays a much larger role. Intelligence and introspection are not the same. They're different, right? They have a relationship, but they are different. And our former mother and auntie's generation where they were married between the ages of 12 and 16, it eventually went to 19 and 21. And then in our generation, what is it, 30? We're literally getting married so much older. So again, we're not gonna black and white it. We're not gonna say every single age gap relationship where the person is very young is bad, we're going to say, hey, probably it's bad. But let's talk about why bad even exists in our vocabulary since bad is subjective. Now, if you believe in a God, I can't have the conversation with you because we're dealing with a different conversation, right? I think we're evolved animals. I believe in evolution. And because I believe in evolution, I don't think there's an objective morality. I think we simply make the decision to be higher thinkers and then make decisions that are better for our communities, usually through mistakes, usually by making mistakes. So yeah, I guess this Cody Co thing wasn't as big of a deal as I thought it was going to be, but I can understand people's frustrations with it. Look, I will be always frustrated when I see people not be, um, well, that's a lie. Hold on. Let me let me be honest. While Livestream Brittany is contemplating her response, you should consider joining YouTube memberships to support the content and watch this full live stream unedited. On the macro, I don't have any attachment to this, if I'm being honest. I don't really care. At this point, I don't care what people do. I'm not attached to the outcome. I'm just here to live my best life. And I wish people would do better. On the micro, there's a part of me that's disappointed in Cody because it's another disappointment from another demographic of people that you just like are, come on, dude. Can we get some good representation out here? But that is me holding onto an attachment that humans aren't gonna human. And if I've learned anything from my work, it's that humans are gonna human. And so to kind of deny that in this moment, I think is kind of a betrayal to the work that I've done on my own introspection journey. It would be lacking in introspection, extrospection for me to be shocked that, oh my gosh, a perfect storm occurred in a situation where of course it did. So I think on the macro, I don't hold any attachment to this. I don't feel a way about it. But on the micro, if I'm in my body and I'm looking at the world, it is frustrating because you're just hoping that people won't disappoint you, but he never had an obligation not to disappoint us. That is holding on to an attachment of parasociality that's inappropriate. But maybe it's not just the connection to Cody, it's what he represents about the people in our own life. If you do not mature, and meet those expectations in a lot of ways, you will find yourself attracted to groups of people that have also not hit those milestones and you will feel compatible with them. And that is a real part of being a human animal is that compatibility is what we're looking for. We are looking to see and be seen from friends and family. That compatibility, the reason toxic relationships occur is because for a moment you feel seen by somebody, so you grasp onto it. I mean, all of human, 
history has shown that we are tribal, we are community-based, we want love. The internet is always talking about love and community and connection. So of course, a human animal is gonna make a decision to form that connection because they feel empty and devoid of it and it might end up occurring in a toxic situation. That's why when I review certain stories like the 41-year-old virgin we reviewed a while back and people go, you're so mean to her. That emptiness she has inside her is a recipe for toxicity. She's already in it. You can be mad at Cody for sleeping with a 17 year old, but that is a perfect storm. What, why did he do that? Maybe, allegedly, according to Tana. For the same reason anyone does anything. They thought it was a good idea. They thought it was a good idea. Why did they think it was a good idea? Not always because they're a predator. Sometimes they are lacking so significantly. They literally think this is what I should do. Not, I'm gonna do this even though I know I shouldn't. I'm gonna do this and it's a good idea. Very specific perspective versus the category of person who says, I'm gonna do this whether this person likes it or not. That is very different than a person who's sitting with another person saying like, I definitely wanna do this. And they're like, oh my God, finally. Someone sees me, someone connects to me. I feel useful. I feel like a hero or I feel good. And then they act on that. So much of cheating, and I know I talk so much shit about cheaters, so much of cheating is a lonely, lonely, desperate experience. People do it to fill a void. Why are you empty in the first place? Because it definitely doesn't have to do with you missing out on sex or partnership. There is something so much deeper than that. And the fact that you think it has to do with partnership is the mistake. Well, if I just had a partner, if I just had a partner, you saying if I just had a partner is a sign that something is wrong. It's not about having a partner. My head in real life while I'm dead My belly's being fed and I'm okay I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense I've been nothing but blessed So why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah Sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool da, 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 da.